Okay, so we'll be working under here. It's about halfway along the car, just sort of where your tail shaft goes into your gearbox. And we're going to be accessing these two nuts up the top. One's a lock nut, we're gonna undo that. And then we're gonna put a spanner on there to hold it in place and then put the socket under here. So both are 17 mil and we start undoing them. Now what I also will do is put a jack underneath the, um, the arm here so that as it's coming down, there's no load on it. Um, yeah, otherwise you could have uh, have some problems when it sort of springs down once it's undone. So have the jack on there to take all this, all the um, all the weight. The threads may need to be cleaned. Uh, but in this case they're pretty good but if there's if they're too tight yeah just give them a clean off with a wire brush and put some uh, wd-40 or something on there just to get the, the knot to come undone a bit easier okay now we put the jack underneath this arm hold it in place and then we can undo this bolt here You just want to have it so that the, the jack connects with this bit under here. Because as that comes down, it'll sort of sit in the cup on the jack. It won't slip out anywhere. And we will need to hold the, uh, the nut in place with the spanner. Fun, isn't it? So see, because the jack's taken the weight of this arm, you can now undo it, undo the rest of this bolt by hand nice and easily. and keep these together with the uh, with the bolt here don't lose them now there's going to be a little sort of this little domey thing that sits up the top so leave it in there don't take it out because they're pretty easy to lose and if, if you get to put that in it's going to be really hard to set everything up all right so see now this this little arm here it's been held up by the by the jack completely like that. Very important to undo these while all the load is is, um, is off the bolt because I have seen pictures of guys who have undone these with the wheels still on the ground and this arm has just gone bang and just sprung out and like ripped the guy's hand to pieces. So it's pretty, pretty gruesome stuff. So once that's done, you then gently lower the jack and then we'll go to the next step. There you go. Up this end here, you take away this boot, pull away this boot from here. So just grab a hold of the torsion bar and just pull it out. That's all you have to do. And just draw it out towards the rear of the vehicle. Slide the boot over and then put some grease on and then we'll get a little smear inside here as well. 
and then slide the boot over here. There you go. And now we can fit this to the car. So underneath the car here, you can see just there, there's another little mark on the right hand side. So that's where you're going to line up the other end of the torsion bar to that mark there. So just slide that in from the, the uh, back of the car, make sure it goes over the transmission cross member and then uh, she'll fit in there nicely. the dust boot on over the top it's all in there good and proper now so what I do here now is get the, uh, the torsion bar there and have this angled have this lever angled so that when you push the bolt through you can just get a nut on the end okay and then what I'm doing, just to give myself a bit more future adjustment if needed, take this off and then turn it one spline. There we go. And then you're going to need to jack it up again. Now get some grease. And put it at the put it underneath bolt head on here just so when you're tightening it up it's got some lubrication there doesn't have to be a lot and then start to jack it up Be putting some uh, grease underneath here as well, a little bit. And as soon as you can feel the thread up the top here, get that nut on as soon as you can. When you've got the whole thread through the, the nut there, then you can lower the jack. And then you can start tightening up the adjuster rod. That looks about right. And that's a good place to start from there. Once that's set, you can reattach the lock nut. See, I'd love to do this with my ratcheting spanner, but I don't know where my ratcheting spanner's gone. So I've got to do this the old fashioned way. lock that nut in place and that's our side completed. on it and get a measurement 
that's pretty much where I want it. Um, now when you take it for a drive, it is going to uh, drop a bit as the springs settle and then um, you'll need to readjust it again. So probably maybe take two, or one or two drives before it finally settles and then you might need to do another adjustment say about after a week or so. So I took it for a little trip up the road and did a little bit of bush bashing um, and she's dropped about 25 millimeters. So we'll crank it up again and that should settle it out a little bit. So that's sitting exactly where I want it to be sitting. Uh, I'll check it again in about a week and see if it's moved then and give it the necessary adjustments. After a couple of more trips and one more adjustment on the driver's side, it's been sitting at a stable height. I also installed new rear springs as well and it really has completely changed how well the car handles. So that's how you fit a set of torsion bars to a Pajero. It's a simple enough job if you have the right gear and are prepared to climb underneath your car to do it. If you have any questions about this particular job, feel free to ask. Until then, have fun, eh?